welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia, and all of it if you could subscribe. And if you're already an existing subscriber, welcome back. So my hair is like this. It is warm. I'm not complaining, but it is warm. So that's why my hair is looking like this. But I do need to film my fifth update for my project pan. It is a little bit later than what I would usually film it, but what I have done is I have taken photos of the day when I usually do it because I usually do it by a specific date. So I usually do it by the 10th of each month, but life has just been crazy at the moment. So I didn't have chance to film it, but I do have everything out in front of me and I do have three things that I have finished. Technically four products. I have finished three categories. So I'm just going to get into it because we have quite a bit to talk about here. Let's just make a start. Starting off with primer. So I introduced three little mini primers, or so I thought they were primers, but one of them was actually a foundation and I found out the hard way when I put it on my skin and it gave me a lot more coverage than what I thought it would. I actually have only got these two in and I finished both of them. So this Smashbox one is not a favourite of mine. If I have to choose a favourite Smashbox one, it'd definitely be the primerizer. Perfect for dry skin. This one... I thought it was okay, I obviously used it up, just wasn't a favourite of mine and I have had a bigger one of these before, not a full size but a bigger one of these before and I felt the same about it. But I did use this five times and I'd finished it, I did use it a few times before I put it into this project as well but I'm glad to have finished it, like I said, not a favourite but I have finally used that up. And then the other primer that I have I also finished as well and this is the Lise Wartier Illuminating Primer. So again, I used this five times before I finished it and I did use it a few times prior to this project as well. This is a nice primer. It's just personally for me, the price tag of it, I don't think it's that nice. Charlotte Tilbury is cheaper than this and I much prefer my Charlotte Tilbury illuminating primers. So it's added a bit of a luminosity to my skin but nowhere near kind of the level that I like. This I would definitely say is something if you're starting off on that or you don't want something that's really illuminating then this is definitely it it does add a little bit but just not to the level that i like but like i said i did use it up and i'm glad it's used up but i won't be getting that again so what i'll be doing at the end of this is i'll be rolling in something new for each of the products that i have finished the next product is my foundation and this is the bourgeois healthy mix foundation and this is my progress so i introduced it here last month and now we are here. I'm having to put tape over it because I keep rubbing the lines off if I don't. It's just that type of packaging. I'm happy with that progress. I think that's pretty good. I used this 12 times, so I'm really happy with that progress. I think for 12 times, that's pretty good. I thought this foundation was in my top three. However, now when I'm using it a lot more now, I'm finding that I don't really love it as much as I think I used to. It's definitely more of an everyday foundation, I would say not something I would necessarily choose to use when I'm like for a special occasion or anything but it's still it's still nice I just find it doesn't wear very well throughout the day this I've had it on for four hours I think now four and a half maybe five and I just I feel like it's not looking the best so to me this isn't a long lasting one you can't buy bourgeois in the UK anymore anyway so yeah, once I've used this up, I won't repurchase it. And like I said, I thought it was in my top three, but I think it's not anymore. And I think I don't even really have a top three anymore. I think I've only got a top one. <laughs> I'm going to keep using it because like I said, it's not awful. It's just to me definitely more of an everyday foundation. And I think it might take me, if I keep at the rate I'm going now, like another two more updates. And I think this will be done which is crazy to say because then that'll be another foundation done out of my collection. So the next thing is my concealer and this is the Wet n Wild for a Focus Concealer. So I haven't been able to mark this just because the packaging, it's just one of those packaging that you just can't really see through. I used this 15 times. I am starting now to see not a huge amount of product coming off the wand compared to previous. Now, there's still quite a bit coming off as you can see but it's just not as much as before. Now, I don't know whether I'm gonna take the stopper out of this. This is definitely more of an everyday concealer and this is less than four pounds. So if you're on the market for a everyday concealer that is, isn't gonna break the bank, 
this is definitely it i do find it sometimes a little bit drying but my skin is dry anyway if my skin isn't super dry i feel like this doesn't look as bad under my eyes but like i said my skin is usually quite dry so yeah i'm not i wouldn't if i got this again i would definitely use it again but i'm not going to go out and like repurchase this but like i said for the price point it's pretty good and like I said I've used it 15 times I have no idea when this is going to be done but this will be in until it is finished okay another empty and this one's more of a bittersweet empty because I didn't really want this to finish but at the same time I kind of did because I wanted to finish the product before it went off but yeah like I said I really didn't want it to go and it's my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless filter powder as you can see I have completely finished it it has completely gone and it makes me sad because I do love this powder it's 35 pound though and at the moment I don't have like any extra money to be spending on something that I don't like I already have something in my collection because I already have another powder so I don't need to buy this one straight away. I will be repurchasing this one. I do think this is going to be the one I buy going forward. Now, previously, a while back in some of my videos when I first started, I mentioned that I don't see the need in, buy in spending a lot of money on powder because I have dry skin. But this powder is just different. This powder just makes my skin look so flawless. And I think it's definitely worth £35. But I only used this seven times before I finished it. Now what I did have to do was crush it up because I wasn't getting any product out of it. Now in the photos that you will see, you will see that it was getting quite close to the edges. So what I had to do was like smash up in here and have it in here. And then it actually did change the formula a little bit when I did that. Because I felt like it was actually adding the colour onto my face more than what it was before. I have found that we do actually have some alcohol for me to be able to repress products in the future. I didn't realise we had it. So I might maybe do that for other products going forward. But with this one, I just did that. And like I said, it changed the formula a little bit. But I do really enjoy this. And like I said, I will be repurchasing that in the future so at the end i'll be rolling something new for that okay then we have my bronzer this is my benefit hula bronzer and the pictures will be on the screen as well for this because anything that has a pan i've taken pictures over the updates for you to see progress but this is where we are at now so like i said i am filming this a few days later and i have used this one more time since then but there isn't a huge difference just from using it one time so I think it'll look pretty similar to the pictures but I'm getting quite close to the edges with this one now and I'm definitely thinking that the edges of this are not as high as what they were before I would I think I'm going to get this finished this year and that makes me so happy because I wanted to finish this this year because this product is getting old or it's not getting it it, it is old and after this year, I didn't feel comfortable putting this on my face. So I think I will actually get this done this year, which makes me really happy. And I used this bronzer 12 times since the last update. So really happy with that. And I, do, I don't know how long it's going to take because sometimes I think I'm doing really well. And then other times I look at it and I'm like, I've not even moved. I don't know, maybe two three updates i don't see myself wearing makeup a huge amount in july there is going to be a video at the end of june explaining kind of what's been going on in my life a little bit of a life update really at the end of june and i don't think i'll be wearing makeup a lot in july but it will all be explained in that video so do stick around for that but yeah i think maybe two or three updates and this will be done and that will be a bronzer done which i'm so happy about the one product in my project pan that isn't to completely finish is my blush and this is the classic nars orgasm blush and i have put this in to just hit pan so i found that blush is definitely my nemesis when it comes to project panning because it takes a long time to pan and i think every project panner has said the same thing but this is a perfect time to bring this blush out anyway because it's summer and it adds that little bit of a like golden highlight to your cheek 
I still put highlight on as well, but that's what it does. And I'm definitely starting to see a little bit more progress in this. Hopefully you'll see from the photos as well. Some like again, similar with the bronzer, some days I look at this and think, wow, that's actually had, that's got quite a lot of progress. And then other days I'm like, that doesn't even look like I've used it. So I think it just depends, but I'm, I'm happy with this. Like I said, it's gonna be in until I hit pan. I don't know how long that's gonna be because it's a blush, but I'm enjoying using this at the moment as well. I'm just a bit nervous when it gets into autumn, winter months. Is this going to look okay? I'm not sure. But I used this as well 12 times. And for my highlight, I've been using the Charlotte Silbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand in Spotlight. So I actually thought I would have this one done by this update. And I did actually have all of the all of the sponge bit, it was completely dried up. So what I did was I just thought I would go for one last squeeze, trying to squeeze everything out of it. And I did get more product on the top. So again, I'm gonna use this until it is completely done. Because I do like this product, I do. I just don't think it's worth the price because there's so much air in this tube. But it is a really nice highlight. It does, I'm wearing it today. And it is, you can have it subtle, you can build it up. It is nice, but it's just £30, and like I said, £30 for a, quite a lot of air, because that was like one update, and then I was down to here. So, well, I mean, to be fair, we've been down to here for two updates now, but that's just because I'm really, I'm trying to use up everything that's on here. Hopefully you can see that. And, yeah, I do think by next month, if I wear makeup a lot, I should have this done but if not next month the month after that but again I did use this 12 times the next thing we have is my lip liner and this is the primer lip liner I didn't lose this one this time so it has had a quite a lot of use actually and I've sharpened it at least two or three times so I do think it is getting smaller so unfortunately I didn't take pictures but at the beginning I did mark it on a sheet but then I lost it so I just threw away that sheet and then I found it again so you're just gonna have to take my word for it that it is going down. I used this 19 times last month. So I'm happy with that. I feel like I'm not using makeup as much as what I was when I first started project planning. But, but again, my life has been really hectic. There's been a lot of stuff going on. So that's kind of been mainly the reason why. I do like this lip liner. I find it actually quite creamy. Enjoying using it. So 19 times. That will be in until I've completely finished it. Then we have my Revolution Lip Gloss in Cake. So hopefully you can see that now I have a lot of window there now. This was something I said in my last update that I will decide in this update whether I want to keep it in or take it out. And I've actually decided I'm going to be keeping it in, I think, for at least one more update because I don't know if you can see... I can't get the product out the bottom, but I'm just trying to scrape a lot of it on the edges and this is the wand at the minute. There's still quite a lot of product on the wand, but I do think after one more month of use, I do think that this will be done or at least it will be dry because it's already starting to get a little bit dry on my lips. So I do think by next update, this I think might just have to go and class as an empty anyway because I don't want my lips to be dried out. It does leak as well which is annoying so I can't take this anywhere with me. But again I used this 19 times last month. And the last thing in my project is my setting spray and this is the Candy Cosmetics Pre Glow Mist. I have finished this. I know there's a little bit in the bottom but when I try to spray it it either doesn't spray out. I'll show you it doesn't spray out or if it does spray out it spray, sprays out into massive blotches on my face and you know what i have persisted with this and i'm pretty sure i can forgive myself for not using that little bit at the bottom i'm so glad this is done this product got everywhere with glitter everywhere all over my top i wanted it on my face but it just always seemed to just get everywhere else but there so i'm so glad i finished this and i can class this as an empty and I used this seven times before it was done. So I was here last update anyway, so I didn't have a lot left and that was my progress throughout the time. So yeah, really happy to have this done. I won't buy that again and I'll be replacing it at the end with something else. Let's talk about the three products I'm going to be bringing in to this project. So starting off with primer, I'm gonna put another primer in because 
I have a lot of primers in my collection and I'm going to be putting this one in. So this is by Rimmel and this is the Lasting Finish Primer. Now I haven't marked it but I am about here and I think I will mark it now just so we can got something for progress but I'm about halfway through this. This has a bit of like a blue tinge to it and I'm just, I'm, I'm wearing it today and it's okay as a primer, I'm just not blown away and I don't really like the blue tinge because I'm already quite pale. I am just on the fence with this in the sense of I don't like, I don't love it, but I also don't dislike it either. So I just like to try and get this finished and out of my collection. And yeah, like I said, I am about here. So I will mark it for the next update, but that is the primer I will be bringing in. For the powder, I'm not actually going to be bringing in a powder because I only have one anyway and that will take me forever to even just try and hit pan on and I'm, I don't really want to pan a powder at the moment. So I'm actually going to put this in and this is the Skin Chemist Rose Quartz Youth Defence Lip Plump. So we are here and I marked this when I took out the, like the applicator because when I put the applicator back, back in it pushes the product up but it looks about right actually when the applicator is in actually I I'm using this every day anyway so I thought it's perfect to put it in kind of tingles a little bit for me but nothing near the level of like Too Faced lip injection which I do not like so I can bear with this one I don't think it makes a huge difference if I'm honest and I've been using this for months I just have pretty small lips anyway, it is what it is. So I am using this, I just don't think it does a huge difference. But yeah, I'm gonna put this in in replacement for the powder. For the setting spray, I'm gonna be putting in another setting spray because I'm trying to work through all of my setting sprays in my collection. And I'm gonna be putting this one in. This one is by Pixi, and this is the Pixi Glow Mist. So this is the one that's got the oil, as you can see there. And then you shake it, and it just mixes in. I don't like the smell of this one. I've been using it to see whether this is something I want to put in. And I don't like the smell of it, but I do like what it does. Yeah, I can't describe the smell of it. It's just, I think it's the oil in it that I'm not a massive fan of, the smell wise. But I do like this product. I do think it adds a nice glow to your face. Not shimmer glow like this, but it does add a nice glow to your face and I feel like because I already use quite a lot of glowy primers and glowy foundations and stuff this is just a nice little added touch to make my face look a little less dry so I'm going to be putting this in and I am here so I was here when I marked it like I said I've used these products once or twice since I took the pictures and marked stuff so I was here on when I first put this in so that is my update I am really happy that i've managed to finish three categories or four products i guess you can say i'm always happy as as long as i finish one product in each of my projects i am happy so or at least hit my goal on each of them so yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and it mean the world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already and please let me know below your thoughts and opinions and if you do a project plan please let me know below how you are doing and until my next video thank you for coming by See you later.